Honourable Minister, Worship the Mayor, although Leanne tells me she prefers to be called just Leanne, invited guests. Welcome here today to the, what I'm calling the Riverside Precinct of Restart. It's another step in the transition to a permanent inner city retail in Christchurch. I'm John Suckling, Chair of Restart the Heart Trust, and I'm your MC today. I'm absolutely delighted that the Minister of Earthquake Recovery, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee, could join us to celebrate this occasion. And I'd like to invite him now to say a few words about Restart and about Sarah's latest initiative in the city centre. Minister. Well, thank you, John. Can I uh, begin by, by um, acknowledging how much work you've done over the last few years to uh, ensure that the restart arrangements here not only work well, but that uh, have quite a, uh, a strong influence on the way people think about our recovery overall. And I know that uh, as uh, someone who thought prior to the, electri the uh, earthquakes that he's retiring, uh, this has been uh, quite an undertaking for you. Uh, not that you're not capable of doing that. I wouldn't want you to think that I'm calling you an old man or anything else like that. Um, I'm now starting to sound like Roger uh, Sutton talking about the length of his hair, uh, which he will do shortly. Um, firstly, can I congratulate all of those parties who have been uh, coming together to make everything happen here. Um, I know that uh, John wants to talk in a minute about uh, Anthony, the, uh, the, the efforts of Lees, but I want to acknowledge that as well. I think um, uh, the speed with which you've been able to do things, the, the safe way in which you've done them, and the, the splendid construction that you've used has been uh, very, very exciting for us, and being a local company is even better. Uh, for all the retailers who have committed to stay in the area, uh, we really want to thank you very much for that and hope that uh, you have uh, success here. Um, if not as good, certainly better than you've had uh, so far. It's very, very important. And if I just reflect back to uh, when Restart opened a few uh, years ago, a couple of years ago now, uh, there are a lot of people who are very sceptical about what it would actually be like. Uh, and the great encouraging thing was that on the day that it was opened, there were, about where we're standing now, uh, sitting or, or gathered now, um, I think it was around about 5,000 people uh, waiting for the barriers to come down and the opportunity to come in. And it really did speak volumes about the commitment that people in Christchurch have to revitalising the centre of the city. Uh, and it was uh, a wonderfully hot day, not quite as uh, uh, wintry as we've got here, uh, but uh, really that enthusiasm hasn't dropped at any point. And throughout the country, you know, I often run into people who say, I was down in Christchurch, I went to the Restart Mall, it was fantastic, I loved it. Uh, and, uh, you know, also to see so many designers now uh, in the sort of work that we're seeing behind on Anthony Goff's site, uh, on Nick Hunt's site that's just down, down the way that's getting underway shortly, um, uh, starting to bring in all of the elements of, of what we've got in Restart, I think is extremely encouraging and uh, uh, augurs very well for a strong central city. We, um, yesterday, we were able to uh, join with the City Council in announcing the Music Centre uh, an, uh, location over in the, in the uh, Performing Arts Precinct. Uh, we've got high hopes for that precinct being a very big cultural centre for Christchurch. Uh, we've got um, other announcements coming about buildings in the Innovation Precinct just further down uh, this particular line of the city. And we're going to see over the next uh, couple of years a whole lot of investment here. Some of it uh, that I'm aware of I can't talk about just yet, but uh, we felt it was very, very important to uh, stick with the Restart program and to have retail available to people uh, right here. So really all I would like to do is um, indicate that uh, the government's very happy about the investment we've made here. Uh, wish all the retailers every success and offer sincere thanks to all of those people who've worked very long hours uh, to make things happen. Um, and uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone here is going to continue to enjoy those facilities. Thanks very much. Thank you, Minister. Um, we're certainly very optimistic about the future when we hear of all these things coming on stream. I'd like to invite Leanne to speak to you.
Thank you very much, John. Thank you, Minister, for a, a wonderful start to this uh, joyous occasion. Uh, and also to uh, the Honourable Nikki Wagner, uh, new Minister of the Crown, and um, a very big contributor uh, to the uh, recovery of our city. Um, can I acknowledge all my council colleagues? I'm not going to name them all. They were pretty much all there yesterday as well, and I completely forgot to mention that we'd uh, actually adjourned the council meeting so that we could all be down there and enjoy the announcement on the Performing Arts Precinct. Uh, but I do want to single out one of my colleagues, and actually I'd like him to come up and stand beside me, Mr um, Paul Lonsdale. <laughs> and I think you'll understand why. <laughs> Uh, Paul, Paul and I were both candidates for the, for the mayoralty, um, but actually um, I think that we ended up with a fantastic result because Paul ended up, because I got to be the mayor, <laughs> and I didn't actually mean it to come out like that, <laughs> because uh, it wasn't, it wasn't um, an, 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 an either either and nothing, it was an either or, and we got the or with Paul. So um, with Paul we got him in as a Hagley uh, Ferrymead City Councillor, but he really was um, a lot of the drive and the energy supported by the Trust uh, to get this uh, restart more up and running in the first place. So Paul, I wanted to acknowledge you in You're saying right. a few words today. Um, I also wanted to say that um, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm feeling an enormous sense of momentum building. Uh, there are announcements just happening all the time, and I get that feeling of energy and excitement about what is happening uh, to our city. So just keep it, keep it coming. Um, I've been reflecting and in, in, in preparing this speech, <laughs> where I've had five minutes to do so, um, on what uh, Lonely Planet and the New York Times said about why Christchurch was a place that people should come visit right now. And it was interesting because it's not the old reasons that people came here, our beautiful botanic gardens, which are still beautiful and still have a fantastic visitor information centre, which you must go down and see if you get the chance. I'll just put a plug in for that there. Um, but what they're talking about is the transition. They're talking about gap filler. They're talking about life and vacant spaces. They're talking about greening the rubble. So they're talking about these transitional things that are taking us from one place where we were before the earthquakes to where we are going. And the words that have come through all of those different articles are these, energy, creativity, wit, intelligence, and flair. And this is where it started. It started at restart. So I think that it is absolutely um, incredible that we are here today to celebrate that energy, creativity, wit, imagination and flair and I believe that the very future of Christchurch depends on us capturing the essence of all of that and we are going to have a great future. So this is a great announcement for Christchurch today. Thank you, Leanne. I think I'll just go home now. You've said it all. <clears throat> as I mentioned, um, it has been uh, mentioned a long time ago uh, when the minister was here last time speaking to you, uh, we got a grant from the Christchurch Central Development Unit. I always call it CCDU. It's much easier, isn't it? Um, that made this shift possible. And we're hugely appreciative of what they did by giving us that grant to make the shift. Our resources didn't go to being able to spend the money for a shift like this. So uh, thank you very much to CCDU and the government. I want to thank them also for making some of the land in the new area um, available to us. Uh, we pay them rent, but it's made it available. And also the private landowners in this area who have made it possible for us to trade at least to the end of uh, April next year and hopefully for another year after that. I'd also like to acknowledge the original loan from the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal Trust, which they made in 2011 to make the whole thing possible. And you've already heard from Leanne and from the Minister about how exciting that was back in 2011 in October. And uh, Paul has already been acknowledged by Leanne as having an incredible part in doing that. Um, when I think about the last two and a half years, it's truly amazing what's happened. And already the two previous speakers have alluded to that. 
we moved from a pocket of shops tucked into the red zone where no one else could go to now, a feature of downtown Christchurch. S but now we're on to stage two, vacating the northern precinct over here to make way for the construction of a new retail and office building on that site, which is great news. I thank Nick Hunt, the landowner for the North Precinct, for his support for Restart right from the very beginning when we had initial discussions about what we we're going to do. And we wish him well for his new building there. Bringing the second phase of Restart into existence has been a major exercise. Lee's Construction, the contractors, have worked around the clock, as they did the first time, to meet extremely tight deadlines, which we imposed on them so retailers could be closed for only a short period. When we had initial discussions with them, they said it's a three-week job. We said, sorry, it's not. Um, Ten days, because we can't have retailers out of business for three weeks, they'll go bust. Um, so in just nine days, they dismantled and moved the containers from that precinct over to this new precinct. 120 containers, 75 crane lifts, and... Um, had it ready for handover to retailers yesterday. It's an extraordinary feat, especially given all that bad weather we had. It wasn't unusual for Will or Jen from Lees or members of their team to have only three or four hours sleep in a day. I believe Restart would not have happened without Lees. So give them a clap. I'm also extremely grateful to the tight-knit team of consultants who have again worked on this project, including Colliers International, the Buchan Group, Structex, Homes Fire, and Wilkinson Consulting. And thanks to my colleagues on the Restart the Heart Trust, who had the courage to take on this new challenge. I was a retailer in the central city for 35 years. So I'm particularly aware of what the move has meant for our tenants over the 10 days of the relocation. The upheaval of packing up and now restocking and the lean times of no income for that duration. It was not for the faint-hearted. Your commitment is huge and I have my deepest respect for you. In 1979, I returned to Christchurch from Wellington to take over the family business in Colombo Street in the centre of the city. During the ensuing 35 years, until the quake, my fellow city retailers and I grew increasingly alarmed at the growth of suburban shopping malls and their very evident impact on retail in central Christchurch. It's against that backdrop that I became involved with Restart. Despite those developments, I strongly believe in the importance of central city and I'm increasingly heartened what I see starting to unfold in Christchurch, in which Leanne and the Minister have already referred to. Yes, the centre will be smaller than before, but its compact size means it will be vibrant, busy and cohesively planned. I believe something of which the people of Christchurch will be rightly proud. Thank you. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Warwick Isaacs, the Director of the Christchurch Central City Development Unit, to speak to you. Thank you, John. Welcome, Ministers and Leanne. Um, I just want to really echo the, the words that the previous speakers have said about, about that day and the importance of it for the Central City. But also I'd also like to just talk about um, something which is really just over behind us here, and it's um, a showcase for future Christchurch. And you'll go and have a look shortly, but just to give you a wee tease of what it is, is um, fits in with the, the restart mall, it's two containers joined up together, there's an atrium over the top of it, so if you go and have a look, uh, and it happens to be raining, you can keep out of the weather. And what it will do is feature exhibits on anchor projects, obviously the first one which is key to us right now is the Avon River Precinct. Also, for those who've seen our liquid galaxies, which um, are quite unique 
technology to Christchurch where you can zoom in, look at 3D iterations of what uh, the central city but also wider Christchurch will look like over the coming years. You'll also be able to view, view the 3D fly-throughs which have been a progressive um, rollout as we've seen ourselves with the anchor projects but also the private sector getting in behind the redevelopment of the central city. I'll try and get this one right but there's also a Vox Pop and uh, that, that's a video and, and photo booth feature. You can go and you can sit down and you can leave a message for the team about what you like, what you don't like about what's happening around you in the central city so we can get feedback both positive and negative about um, what, what you think about the central city. Also you can say I actually want to be in front of, of the future um, convention centre precinct. A photo of what that may look like will come up. You can take a photo of that, e email that to a friend and um, be part of really the future Christchurch and selling that as an ambassador for, for Christchurch. We've also got around 50 different videos of all sorts of things happening in the central city and that collection will grow over time. What it's really about is giving people the opportunity to view Future Christchurch, take part in it, give us feedback about what they like, what they don't, what they'd like to see improvement about, and really is an opportunity for people to come down, feel part of what's really happening, and uh, we believe this will be a real strong feature of the, the iconic mall, which we know is Restart the Heart. Thank you. Thank you very much, Warwick. Uh, that brings today's formalities to a close. I'd like to thank all of you for coming, for showing your enthusiasm for Restart and the second stage of this unique project. Of course, the success of the past and for this new stage depends on public visiting and shopping at Restart. I'd like to invite the people of Christchurch to revisit Restart and I would also invite you to have a look around today and spread the word. So thank you very much for coming and I hope you enjoy the new aspect of Restart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah.